So, welcome to lecture number 30 and we have been discussing about uh, active reactive power in AC circuit. So, active power is uh, denoted by uh, generally capital which is average power, average power absorbed by the load. by load. So, this average uh, generally it is average uh, I, even if I do not write it means average capital P and uh, it was shown to be equal to V R m s into I R m s into cosine theta. This is called average power. Then uh, reactive power reactive power that is uh, this will uh, this is nothing but essentially over a full cycle v t i t d omega t 0 to 2 pi this is the average over a cycle. If you put uh, this one you can easily show uh, as 0 to 2 pi uh, um, this is uh, V max I max sin omega t into sin suppose R L circuit minus theta d omega t. It means this which just one line derivation which of course, we have done in a different way, but average means this one V max I max by 2 pi is there and uh, then you have 0 to 2 pi. Huh? Then you multiply denominator by 2 and you know numerator by 2 to 2 sin a sin b. So, this will be sin um, are you getting 2 sin omega t into sin omega t minus theta into d of omega t average over a full cycle 0 to 2 pi integrator and this one will be v max i max by 4 pi here and this one can be broken up into two terms cos a minus b which will give you this minus cos a plus b. D omega. Now, uh, cos theta is constant therefore, this will simply become V max I max by 4 pi into 0 to 2 pi cos theta d omega t and whatever will be left over it is cosine 2 omega t you are averaging over a full cycle that must give 0. So, so this this will then be V max I max by 4 pi into cos theta is constant and integration 0 to 2 omega is 2 pi. So, this will be V max I max by 2 cosine theta which is equal to V R m s into I R m s into cosine theta this 2 root 2 root 2 you write. So, R m s voltage R m s current into cosine theta is this one. So, these are R m s values R m s values are the phasors here no just magnitude of the R m s voltage. What about reactive power? Reactive power is denoted by Q and uh, it is uh, written as uh, 
V max that is what we got last time I max by 2 sin theta which is equal to V RMS I RMS into sin theta. But mind you this reactive power V max I max by 2 for example, uh, real power V i cos theta if I am asked to tell you what it is I will tell take the product of this divide by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi average value of the power very clearly understood. Now, what is V i sin theta? Our answer should be V i sin theta is not the average value of anything it is the peak value equal to it is the peak value it is the peak value of the oscillating power not average it is the peak value of the oscillating power between the source and the load source and the load that is what you must understand because you see you recall that uh, average power origin of reactive power V max I max by 2 which now after knowing RMS value I know it is V i sin theta and what it is it is the peak value this peak value of the double frequency oscillating power. So, the physical significance of V i sin theta is about the oscillating power and the peak of that what is the real power or active power it is the average value of V i you must understand that ok. Therefore, this is how things uh, goes on. So, what is the significance of this AC power I will now tell a few words about that. So, that uh, um, that is why uh, the AC circuit and interpretation of power becomes uh, interesting then. What happens whenever energy story mind you whatever I have done with R L circuit it can be also done with R C circuit which I will not do but I will tell you um, this is suppose C and excited by A C current you will get similar results no problem this is V T and this is I T. So, similarly I can uh, if V T is equal to V max sin omega t and your i t I know it will be uh, i max uh, sin omega t plus theta where uh, z is uh, v max by i max which is also it will be equal to v r m s by i n m s. So, except that uh, the current is leading similar thing can be done and uh, real power will be once again average of this product ok in the same way you will be able to do which I am not at all uh, <laughs> finding it interesting for me and for you also it will be same calculations, but except that sin omega t plus theta and you will arrive at this V r m s i r m s cos theta. What is tan theta? Tan theta is 1 over omega c reactance by resistance that is 1 over omega c r. What is V? V i is the r m s values in the same way. Similarly, reactive power will be the 
peak value of the double frequency oscillating power existing. So, Q also can be calculated from that clear. Achha. So, uh, in the RC circuit same way it can be done. So, there is one part where the power is consumed and power will be essentially consumed in R only and uh, energy storing element is there that will be responsible for this oscillating power. If the circuit is purely resistive no L and C then of course, uh, there will be no reactive power, no exchange of power between source and load it will not be there whatever power is there that will be consumed. You know that you can draw the voltage and current waveform they will be in phase and uh, always the power will be positive average power. Anyway, this is the thing, but I will now tell you one thing you see uh, the significance of cosine theta significance. of power factor power factor cosine theta what does that mean so q will be v i sin theta once again for leading i should write for leading power factor circuit rc for lagging this reactive power to uh, yes so one point is for rl circuit what people say is that uh, uh, reactive power is this much uh, and uh, uh, oscillating power between load and peak value of this which is equal to V i sin theta. This is called Q reactive power inductive I can say inductive circuit and to distinguish between these two and uh, here I will say reactive power capacity. capacity. Okay. Now, significance of the term cosine theta. Now, you see you if you see from the supply point of view here is your supply and here is your load which may be R L or R C type. So, so if I express uh, now uh, I know something about feather. So, I will simply write this is V bar and this is I bar and this is Z bar. Okay. This line is connected suppose you are running a factory there are several motors different kinds of load effectively load connected across the supply is this much and you are drawing this much current. Your ammeter if you connect an ammeter here this ammeter ammeter and voltmeters are so designed they will record always RMS value of the quantity. If you connect a voltmeter here it is AC voltage, but RMS value will be only recorded. Similarly, current RMS value of the current will be recorded by the ammeter. Now, as I told you as you draw power you consume the power this is your supply authority who is uh, supply authority is responsible for maintaining voltage across your premise across your loads that they will maintain it gives you A and V. But the product of V and A is not the power you are really utilizing a fraction of it because cosine theta is a number less than 1. So, so power real power absorbed by you is V i cosine theta okay. and based of on that you will pay the electricity bill 
as I told you earlier. Cosine theta is a number between 0 to 1, is not? If uh, somebody has a circuit like this, same circuit, same voltage and he has connected resistance, purely resistive circuit, no inductance and the value of the resistance is equal to suppose mod of z. Then his ammeter reading will be also same as this fellow, but only thing voltage and current will be of same phase, is not? This is the supply voltage V, same voltage. I connect a resistance say 10 ohm, you connect an impedance say 10 ohm, which has got a resistance and inductance. How the impedance for example, 6 plus J 8 you have connected, then the impedance values is root over 6 square plus 8 square is 10 ohm. To give you comp concrete example, suppose uh, your supply voltage is 200 volt and whenever supply voltage will be prescribed, it is RMS value in variably okay, 50 hertz. Now, suppose you connect a, a Z, let us try to understand the problem Z bar it is suppose 6 plus j 8 ohm. How much uh, is its impedance? 10 angle 53 degree, got the point, so much ohm, tan inverse 8 by 6. And uh, what will be the current? I, I am interested to know what will be the ammeter reading. So, I will calculate I bar as equal to 200 angle 0 degree, suppose I take voltage on the reference divided by 10 10 angle 53 degree, which will be equal to 20 ampere minus 53 degree, is not this is the voltage. So, V bar is equal to 200 0 degree I have assumed and divided by Z I got 20 ampere I will say ammeter will read 20 ampere fine. What is the active power it is consuming P is how much P is V into I this is also RMS I into cosine 53 degree, cosine minus 53 is same as how much it is? 24 0 0 watt I should write, is it V i cos theta. Achha, how much reactive power it is consuming? It is consuming V into I into sin theta, sin 53 degree. How much it is? 3200. 0. Now, here about the units. See, this is also power joule per second, but what happens is this to distinguish it from what we write an unit which is called uh, volt ampere reactive. V A R reactive power is generally denoted by this unit V A R, where as what the active power is denoted by what. But mind you, they are one and the same thing product of voltage into current, got the point. But to uh, make difference between the uh, between the active power and reactive power. And it is no new unit. It is similarly voltage into current is what? That is what we got Q also voltage into current into sin theta is not what its unit should be, what only, but uh, what is uh, chosen to represent the active power 
because they are that, that power you are consuming. And since this is an oscillating power, it is giving a different name, volt ampere reactive. Let me write volt ampere reactive, inductive reactor, okay, reactive power, volt ampere. So, this much is the reactive power, this much is the active power. Now, I am telling you will have to pay the electricity bill based on this 2400 watt. Got the point? Fine it is. So, supply authority will charge you bill, electricity bill at the end of the month how much kilowatt hour etcetera that is based on wattage not based on this quantity. Because after all you, uh, you can always say this 3200 is a measure of power which is oscillating I am taking, but I am also returning you back I am not consuming got the point. So, so for this why a consumer of electricity should be charged it should not be apparently it looks like. So, this is consumer who has connected a load because this load impedance is not in your hand you have connected several gadgets several motors this that effective impedance you have connected to the source works out to be this may not be in your hand, but you have to use this load for your own purpose. Okay? because all motors are RL type inductive nature okay, 6 plus 2. Now, consider another consumer, another consumer this is quite interesting to note another consumer which is fed with the same voltage I will straight away write RMS values 200 volt angle 0 degree this is the supply voltage V bar and he has connected a load which is purely resistive and his R is equal to 10 ohm. I can have a situation like this this is another consumer purely resistive he has connected. Now, how much current will be flowing here I bar in this circuit it will be 200 0 degree so much volt divided by 10 what is this angle 0 because there is no omega L tan inverse 0 that means theta is equal to 0. So, it will become 20 0 degree ampere that is voltage and currents will be in phase this is the voltage in time domain and your current will be also in phase. Unity power factor they call it theta is equal to z is equal to 10 plus j 0 here therefore, it is equal to 10 0 degree what the point this is the ohm. So, theta is 0 voltage and current in phase and if you uh, plot the product of these two it will be always positive both voltage and current reverses simultaneously. So, it will be always positive there is nothing like oscillating power existing in this circuit. So, it is if you connect an ammeter it will still read 20 ampere 20 ampere it will read and uh, how much power he, he is going to consume voltage 200 volt into current 20 ampere into cosine theta V bar is equal to 200 0 degree so much volts. So, theta is equal to 0. So, theta is equal to 0 here. So, into cosine 0 which is equal to 4000 watts of power is going to consume. What is, what is reactive power? 
I need not write reactive, but anyway, P average. Q reactive, it will be voltage into current into sine 0. As expected, mathematics tells it is 0, also we expect there is no oscillating power between because no energy storing elements. So, we had uh, the first consumer, I did draw it here, e, uh, sorry, I did draw it here, e, he was the first consumer was like that, same source plus minus supply voltage is same for both the consumers 0 degree volts. This is quite interesting to note down and here is uh, you have connected an ammeter and his load is uh, as I told you 6 plus j 8 ohm. In this case also ammeter will read 20 ampere is not and I once again very quickly calculate the numbers you can just tell I bar the current feathers we got I bar how much we got V bar 0 degree divided by 6 plus j 8 ohm division polar form is better, but your calculators nowadays will also take polar and rectangular together you do that 10 53 degree and this was equal to 20 minus 53 degree is not that will be the thing and then we calculate real power in this circuit how much we calculated huh? 2400 watt and reactive power we calculated 3200 but i will call it volt ampere reactive it is also what now these are the two consumers these consumers connect a pure resistive load and this consumer connect a rl combination 6 plus j 8 now here is supply authority for supply authority which consumer is good for them who is going to pay more to the supply authority definitely this fellow because he is con consuming 400 watt of power so at the end of the month he has to pay a hefty electricity bill compared to this fellow because he is consuming uh, nearly half <laughs> slightly greater than half of the wattage he is using but he is going to pay less his electricity bill is decided by the p values active power not about reactive power now from the point of view of the supply authority this consumer is more attractive to them attractive for them than this fellow is not more the power factor is towards the unity that will be a better consumer because the electricity bill will be more. Now, supply authority may think a bit okay, he is the here is a consumer which is who is taking 2400 watt of active power and this much of reactive power. he is taking and uh, <coughs> he is paying me less, but is he, uh, but the consumer tells ok I am taking that reactive power, but also returning you back. So, I should not be charged that logic is fine, but what is disturbing for the distribution transformer, he is ready to see 200 volt 20 ampere. So, he would expect that 200 into 20 amount of uh, 4000 volt ampere I am handling, but a little portion of it is used by the consumer I am other part is oscillating, but this 20 ampere he has to carry through the transmission line. See reactive power you increase, but you cannot uh, 
deny that you are drawing 20 ampere drawing same 20 ampere the revenue earned by the supply authority would have been much higher but you are uh, the, 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 the supply authority will see that okay he has got a power factor so 200 into 20 watt if he would have consumed nothing is better than that for the supply authority but only a portion is used and other things are returned back but that current has to flow all along the lines so current drawn by the load is decided by both active and reactive power total volt ampere how much you are drawing from the source. Therefore, supply authority says that okay, if your power factor is unity nothing is better than that, but they put also a condition to the consumer that power factor you better keep above this value ok maybe say 0.8 power factor lagging power factor your circuit should have a power factor greater than 0.8 then for that reactive power I will not charge you anything although you are drawing extra current, but that I will not charge. In fact, for consumers in houses like people like us who use electricity they, they do not put any condition because we are uh, very little uh, we consume power very little compared to big industries. So, for big industries supply authority will say that that make sure that whatever load you are connecting motors, fans, these that big big loads you must ensure that power factor is greater than 0.8. If power factor is less than 0.8 then also I will charge for that reactive power, because the reactive power gives no revenue for the supply authority it is situation is like this suppose you are running a big hostel thousand students stay in your hostel you have uh, some people uh, uh, some market is there about 5 miles away from your hostel big market is there you tell that uh, you supply me 100 kg of rice every day so, that uh, supplier brings 100 kg of rice at your doorstep and then you say that I will use uh, I will buy all the 100 kg fine nothing is better than that supplier 100 kg transport charge was there I have brought and he has used all the things. But suppose another hostel he says that give me 100 kg supplier brings 100 kg and you say that I will only use take 10 kg, 80 kg, 20 kg you take it back. So, how much uh, the second hostel has to pay? Okay, for 80 kg because after all he has purchased 80 kg, but supplier will think that that extra 20 kg I brought to your doorstep and you did not use it return it back but I have to carry it back to the shop once again. So, there is extra transport charge involved. Similar with the current, all the currents are active here, every bit of currents, but here this 20 ampere a portion of this as if being utilized and other portion you are returning back, you do not have to pay in general. But when uh, big industries are selling like that, that oscillating power becomes too large for that ampere to be flown in the circuit this way that way it will do this way that way the reactive component of the current that may be prohibitive that uh, industry uh, supply authority will not allow. 
that is why they put a additional condition for big industries that look here I uh, do not uh, keep low power factor for your loads. Anyway, we will continue with this and solve several problems in my next class, but go through this. This is very interesting things to understand. Thank you.